Fort Barris. Knobloch is retired for the first time this afternoon. The 1-1 one -one pitch. That's into left field for a hit. Jeter's three for three. It's worth it talking about Rocker with all the stuff that happened in the offseason and the problems that five. That's into right field. Another hit for O'Neill. Jeter and O'Neill are each three for three, and it's two on one out. And if it wasn't obvious before now, it certainly is two home runs this yeah, season. Right. Runners are going on a pitch low and away. The throw down is into left. And this is a tie game. Over to third is O'Neill. He's 90 feet away with a go-ahead run. That'll be a stolen base and an error. Now the infield comes in on a chopper to first. Bernie Williams grounds out. Now with the way Maddox is struggling here today. And there's a ground ball base hit up the middle. He wasn't pitching around him. He gave him something to hit. Martinez does. And the Yankees regain the lead at 6-5. Again, the runner goes, and ball four, and now the decision. I'm expecting Maddox to leave. And he grounds to second for Barris, so Maddox stays in the game after the walk. He and the Braves are out of the fourth. We're only in the fourth inning. Yankees get two and lead it 6-5. At home against the Red Sox on Sunday night. He gets Andrew Jones on the splitter. That's his fourth strikeout. Pick up for Lede in left field while Lede is just starting to get hot. That's on the outside corner and Clemens back-to-back -back strikeouts getting Andrew Jones and now Chipper Jones. Stick with a guy who has a proven track record. I hope that he figures it out. He's 37 years old as well. That's down the line. And left in a 1-2-3 inning for the first time all afternoon on either side. We're through four innings. At the quarter pole, the Yankees lead by one. You certainly wouldn't expect four errors total behind these two pitchers. And Brocious flies one to center. Andrew Jones back to get it. One away. As he brings home a 1-0 to Clements. He tests for Kahn, who's got that great arm. Two out. Stolen a base, committed an error in the field. That's why we talk about defense. How good was that? Maddox has his first one, two, three inning of the day, but it took this to accomplish that. Took a hit away from Knobloch. Bottom of the fifth, six five, New York. Three balls, two strikes. Jordan Bonilla for Cal. Coming up for the Braves, and Jordan hits one in the center. Back is Williams. Plenty of room. One away. Scored and popped up. He's been reborn here. But not right now. Goodbye. Six strikeouts for Clemens. Six in a row. Of Major League Baseball players are of Latin American descent for Cal. That's trouble when you walk this guy. Fourth walk handed out by Clemens. There he goes. And he steals it uncontested. So now, the Braves are a hit away from tying this game. Gets a huge lead in second. And that's slammed into center field. Back is Williams at the track. Can't make the catch. This game is tied. Pitch hit double by Lopez. 6-6. Six -six. Fielders have a tough time going back on drives hit well. That's on the outside corner, and Maddox is gone. Well, this game has featured three Yankee errors today. The wild pickoff throw by Clemens, another not lock throwing error. The killer error by Jeter. A three-run homer follows. This mistake, no error, but boy, did it cost New York. For the Yankees in a 6-6 game. Into left field, hard hit, played on a hop by Bonilla. Jeter, four for four. And a clunker to second. That'll get the runner Jeter down to second. There he is with one away. O'Neill's retired for the first time today. And now Williams and Martinez will try to drive him home. Lead back at second base. 
that's easy in the left field for Bonilla. Shading his eyes. Two out. Looking back on that ball hit by Javier Bright. Ball. Bright. Being in a stadium where you play in twice a year. The 0 1 pitch. Through the right side of base hit. That grab Jeter to the plate. Throw by Jordan is too late. The Yankees are back on top. Chris Turner with two runs batted in today. Mullinger is the new pitcher for the Braves. What a year he's had. 0 and 1, but a great ERA. 28 games. Usual. Runners will go. 3 2 pitch is popped in the air to right. Got it toward the end of the bat. Jordan waits for it. The Yankees get one. Ramlinger comes out of the bullpen to stop the rally. One run, two hits, an intentional walk, two left. Top of the order coming up for Atlanta. They're down by one. Guess, and this is all it is, a guess the knee is bothering O'Neal. Mm -hmm. There is no double switch from what we understand in that Grimsley, the new pitcher, will bat in the number nine spot, meaning he's due up second in the seventh. At least that's the word we're getting now from the official scorer. So Grimsley and Spencer straight changes, and Grimsley is into the game for Clemens, who went to Jeff Nelson or Mike Stanton. The opposite way, pretty well hit, but Lede is back to get it. One away, and Maris is retired for the second time today. Pitch to Andrew. Off the end of the bat, shallow center, Bernie Williams coming to get it. Two away. It's the one thing that will eventually suffer with Andrew Jones. He turned around Bobby Bonilla's fortune. It was so bad for the match. Here's another chance for a block. Lally pops it over to first, and the inning is over. We go to the seventh. A one-run Yankee lead. Fox Sports, home of the 2000 World Series, returns after this from your local Fox station.